There are a couple types of images which could use a little extra post-processing after running them through the Key36 plugin. These include red hair and sheer material such as tool, especially when it is red, pink, or orange. Green screen softwares typically have issues with these types of images, but not Key36. The Key36 plugin comes with an action which was specifically made to tackle these types of images. Let's start by processing this image containing red hair. Notice that once we process the image, the result looks pretty good, but if we insert a red background, we can see that there's still quite a bit of green left around the edges of the hair. Don't get scared by this result, we have a quick and easy way to fix this in Photoshop. Processing the image with different parameters will give the same result around the hair, so let's just go ahead and accept this result. We will start by cleaning up our green mask. You can learn more about these actions by watching other tutorial videos. Now I'm going to put in a background color to better see what I'm doing. In order for us to change the color of the hair, we need to work directly on the tint layer. To do this, I will play the action called Color Brush Prep. This will put us on the right layer as well as select the color replacement tool with the correct parameters for what we need to do. If for some reason you don't have the color brush tool preset, you can check the Key36 help desk to find instructions on how to load the tool presets. Now we need to click on the foreground color and sample the red hair. This is the color we will use to paint around the edges of her hair. We then need to click on the background color and sample an area of the hair that still contains some green. This is the color we want to replace. Now we can simply paint over the edges of her hair. As you're doing this, you can adjust the foreground and background colors if needed. The important thing to remember is that your foreground color is the color you want the hair to be and the background color is the color you want to replace. Once you finish, if you are happy with your image you can save, but if you want to do more work on the image, you can play the color spill brush done action and then continue editing your image. The next image we're going to look at deals with transparent material. I'll quickly process this image and then edit our green mask. We want to make sure we remove all the green we can from the bow. Now if we zoom into the red bow and view the image with a grey background, we can see that it still looks a little bit green. We need to repeat the same steps we did for the previous image. So first, I'll play the color brush prep action. Now I'll set the foreground color to the red I want to paint with and the background color to the green area. Now I can paint over the green area of the bow. If you prefer to color correct your image using your own method, that's perfectly fine. The actions and tool presets are just here to simplify your workflow to receive the best possible result. You can watch more tutorial videos for information on the other Key36 actions and tool presets. Thanks for watching.